Um, three and zero opening week last week, perfect on the picks. You've often said that you hate having to be right all the time. Was that? <laughs> when did you hear me say you that? You said that multiple times. My God! And you've said it many times. I don't hate. remember and ever he saying it. That's the case. Absolutely, right, Nana? <laughs> that's right. Listen to he this. He's always right. This, this faux modesty coming out. Oh, I never talk. Yeah, sure you. Yeah. You went three and zero. You were two and up, uh, two and one against the spread. Hawaii let you down. They got bombed at home by Vanderbilt. You picked the game correctly. You had Vandy, but you didn't have the line. You had Northwestern straight up. You told us you didn't need the points. I don't ever use when I when I pick a game. I don't even think points. I have no idea. Well, maybe what that's going. what maybe that's what helps you. You know, I just pick who I think is going to. Who I think will win. I don't. Yeah. I, the points don't even enter my mind because I don't bet. I don't. And you don't encourage it. No. But it doesn't mean you you can't pick winners. Well. You know you might be yeah. helping some folks. I just what about that. the uh, pineapple sandwich for lunch? Very good. Was the pineapple ice cold? It was cold. And mayonnaise from edge to edge. Mayonnaise, on Mayonnaise, a little extra mayonnaise. Extra mayonnaise. Do you pepper that with the pineapple on No, we don't put pepper You on put pepper on just about everything, everything else. Everything but yeah. my pineapple. No pineapple pepper. All right. All right, this week's games, uh, we're going to start with the uh, Sunday night matchup in New Orleans, Florida State, LSU. LSU a three-and-a-half-point favorite. Um, that seems low to me. I, and I watched FSU against Duquesne. Not sure how much you watched that. It uh, looks like the same old FSU to me. I don't know about you, Pops. No, it's the same old FSU to me, too. And I'll take LSU. I think LSU big, yeah. maybe. I that's I just think it's going to be interesting because I don't know what kind of quarterback LSU is going to throw at him. Yeah, might be the transfer from Arizona State. Yeah. Jaden Daniels, it could be uh, Garrett Nussmeyer. But until Florida State beats somebody, uh, and not just one, they can put two or three in, in a season together. Yeah. Uh, then I'll start thinking, leaning towards you. Yeah, I don't think they're going to have three 100-yard rushers this week. No. Florida State. So. I don't think so. Um, Arkansas and Cincinnati. It's a pretty interesting matchup. Yeah, uh, that's a real good uh, interesting matchup. I like Pittman. I don't know of anybody that doesn't like him. Uh, I'm going to go with Arkansas. I know they're at home. and. and Six and a half point favorite at home, yeah, Arkansas. Yeah. And, uh, but I've, I've got my fingers crossed they can, they can pull it out. All right. Uh, final game, your Fighting Gators <laughs> of Florida hosting the Utes everybody, of Utah. Everybody down here thinks they're going to be playing in front of 92,000 people, and, and Utah's going to just you know be shaking in their pants. But I'm going with Utah. Utah, a three-point favorite. You sound like you like Utah pretty big. Well, it has nothing to do with being favored, is it? Anthony Richardson, he can do all the things that they all think he can do, but he, he can't do it for a whole game. At least this game he can't. That, Utah is a physical football team. They are physical. And they're going to they're gonna come out there and, and Impose their will, play. Pops? Huh? They're going to impose their will on the I, fighting I, Gators? I don't – I'm not saying they'll, they'll hammer them. I'm just saying I, I got Utah, you know. So you you uh, you're going Utah there in Gainesville. Yeah. I'm I'm, I'm uh, pulling for Florida. Yeah, I want them to win. Yeah. But uh, I don't see it. In, I don't I, until Richardson can show me something. Yeah. Consistently, every game. All right. You know, I'm I'm not on his bandwagon. So there you go, Utah, LSU, and Arkansas. Pops his picks for week one of the 2022 college football season. That's Anything it. else, Pops? You good? That's it. That's a wrap.